Bill! <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, so we could go, you know, on and on about that stuff. I'm just trying to, you know, entertain you guys. Um, I like to, I like to be a, a, a true jokester, a, a true sacred, sacred clown. And I, I always like to do that throughout, um, throughout high school. I was always the, the rebel, um, who did things that nobody else was willing to do that needed to be done. And, um. Although it kind of sucked because everyone was always like, "Hey, do that thing," you know, you know, you're funny. You're 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 the funny man. Be the be funny. You know, do something. But dance, dance for you know, kind of like a wind up monkey. Dance, monkey, dance. You know, but you know, it's it's not like that. It's it's just that's always what I loved doing. So one of the one of the things that I loved doing was impressions. I've always done my really really good impressions. One of my favorite ones is Santos. Um, recently, we do some really good impressions of Santos. Oh yeah! <clears throat> in the, you know, I'm not gonna do it off the top of my head. Give me something to say, and I'll, I'll, I'll say it. You know, Sp spinning upside down on 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 the ball on the globe. You know the the panty boys in the panties, the stero steroid panty boys. You know, but I don't know why I'm just trying to, I'm just being stupid. But anyways, back to the subject matter. Um, let's pull up, see if I can pull up something. I was waiting for this to load so that I could show you. Although I was contemplating not showing it, whether I should do it just for my patrons as an exclusive. Because that's the thing is I want to give some exclusive content, you know, for the people that do support me. You know, I want to put some differentiation, show some appreciation for the people that do and all you guys support me, so I, I love all you guys and thank you all so much. But you know, there, it, you know, I can't do this for, for free for full time. You know, I, was, I was actually up till five a.m. You know, this morning, just working on this new film and, and working on it on the uh, on a Mancy presentation that I was doing as well. So, um, so yeah, it's literally sometimes I don't even sleep. You know, doing I, I get a lot of sleep. You know. I, don't get me wrong. My routine is is really is really solid, but you know I, I, I'm so driven. I guess I've never thought of myself. I never thought I would be a workaholic, but that's because I never really found something that I love to do as my work. But now that I love to do it, it's like I don't want I don't want to sleep. You know I just want to just want to work. You know I want to put in work. But um but yeah. So I'll show you guys Snow Globe Santa Bowl. Panty Prophets, the Panty Prophet Boys. Oh, the Jews. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, but, yeah. So what is Christ? Jesus' fucking last name. Yeah, I mean, do, doesn't everyone? Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, but yeah, I want to show you guys something so I can get some... Let me load something up. See what I got here. Um, nothing yet. Okay. Um. Damn it, my computer is so slow. Well, I'm... Let's see. Ooh, maybe I could show you my Easter. Now I'll tell you what, I'll do just a run through of the Las Vegas. No, I, I can't do that because it'll get demonetized. Um, but then again, so will so will the Chris Cornell and Chester Bennington <laughs> sacrifice. Um, what else is something I'm working on that I can show you? It's not too I don't want to give away everything too much, but Oh, we can do the Easter. We can do the Easter presentation. I didn't end up actually following through on finishing the Easter presentation, basically because I had started it at least a month before Easter rolled around. But um, it's just once I start doing these things, it it doesn't stop. I mean, the rabbit hole continues to go on, and it expands and it expands, and ends up taking months for just a single film. And it's it takes too long. It's it's wearing me down. Like. You know, I've got to find, I've, 
I've got to figure something out. A better. That's why I'm doing the live streams is because I can sort of, you know, sort of try and pick up the pace and keep up, you know, with the flow of content as it comes in. Because I've got, it's just all flowing in, just like a, the floodgates are open. You know, the water gates are open, just pouring in, and you know, I'm trying to put it out and produce it as quick and as much as I can. But it's, it's hard, you know, especially with. You know, it's got to be good quality production. It's got to be quality. Um, so that's that's what I want to do. But <clears throat> okay, let's see if there's. I'm I've been rambling on enough, guys. Um, let's see if there's any more questions. Um, that's what this is supposed to be a live stream about questions, Q and A. But still, just the. Still just the $5 uh, super chat. I don't know, I guess. Okay, that's it. Um, well, I'll show you guys something for now, and then I'm going to get a drink and go pee. I'm going to pee really bad. That's also why I ramble on. It's because when I got to pee, I start rambling. Um, don't drink water right before you do a live stream. Um, that's, a, that's a big no-no. Uh, or any sort of presentation, for that matter. Um, <clears throat> oh no, the Easter presentation is having to load like a ton. Um, yeah, maybe I can put it into proxy mode. It might work. Proxy mode! Oh, sh whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, there's still missing files on proxy. Why is there missing files? There shouldn't be any missing files. That's not good. Okay, I don't even want to mess with that now because that might screw everything up. Oh, that's the biggest problem about starting like a two to three hour film and not finishing it because if you start doing more stuff on top of that, like I've had that happen. That happened with my lymphatic presentation is I started the whole presentation and ended up losing it because I ran out of space on my computer and had to end up going back to delete to make room for space to work on a on a more recent film ended up losing the entire presentation and you know it's months worth worth of work gone and it's it's i mean it's absolutely it's worse than heartbreaking i mean it's it's literally it's like it's soul crushing is what it is soul crushing C60. No, I'm not a Mason. No, I'm not. Do I look like a free... Seriously, guys. Do I look like a Freemason? Like, you know, can you picture me in Masonic regalia? Like, you know, doing stupid ritual routines, cornerstone rituals, and, you know, number one, I don't join cults. That's the difference between me and so many other people, is I don't join cults or groups or clubs or sects or ideologies or any of that stuff that's why most people will either hate me or some people will like me but a lot of people will hate me because i don't go along with the groups and they and, and in fact even if something it has merit to it i will still be sort of deterred from it because it's a it's a whole you know it's a people go one way and i like to go the other way and then you know it's it's things constantly switch you know the the herd starts going to one side of the of the pendulum or the the teeter totter, and then you know once everyone gets to that side, that's when I go to the other side, and then it starts to get you know too heavy on that side. Then I go to the other side, but so that's that's kind of the dichotomy of things. But that's why it's best to always you know find whole. Yeah, no, I'm not a mason, and honestly, I don't have anything against <clears throat> Freemasonry. You know, I'm not one of these conspirators that's like the Freemason the the Freemasons. The free um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of the stuff I I present is the fundamental principles, the basics of Freemasonry. And a lot of it, honestly, a lot of it even deeper than Freemasonry will ever, you know, I don't want to say will ever get, but, you know, a lot of it, a lot, a lot deeper than, you know, even Freemasons are, will ever understand, um, especially, you know, like, initiates and you know possibly even blue lodge or whatever but but no i'm not no i would never join the masons um no not all masons are bad but <clears throat> the problem with cults is that you join a cult and you are you are supporting the group so whether you're not 
a rapist and a child trafficker. Most of the cult is, at least, at, not, not most, but at least the ones that really matter. The ones at the top. You know, the sociopaths, psychopaths, and, you know, dangerous people, terrible people, will, are, are masters of deception. They are, they are geniuses. They are masters of deception, and they will work their ways into, they are masters of infiltration. And that's what these groups and these cults and these cabals meaning a small group meeting in private and secrecy, usually for nefarious purposes, is because that's how they can infiltrate these every aspect of society, whether it's judicial, whether it's law enforcement, whether it's, you know, whatever else, aspects of science, um, institutions, whether it's universities, you know, every level of the social caste system are infiltrated by the most vile and yet the most cunning and crafty. These people are geniuses. They, you know, they're not stupid. They're smarter than most you and I. Um, and that's how they get to where they get to is because, you know, not only that, they, they, that's what the whole point of bloodlines and propagation of the bloodlines are is because it's the whole point of Monarch MK Ultra mind control is because you pass genetic memory down through the genes. So that's why they inbreed and they, you know, they arrange marriages and all these things, not just for struggles of power and all of that, but to literally trans transfer the knowledge, to pass the torch, to carry the Freemasonic torch, to carry the torch of Lucifer, of the to bear the light, to bear the torch of knowledge and sacred wisdom and information down through the generations. Although the nefarious purpose comes in keeping that away from everybody else and to to use that as power and control and domination over everyone else rather than to share it to spread it to uplift everyone so that we all support each other because they the reason why is because they created all they created civilization you know we went from the original matriarchal polarchy of a circular or a spherical system of natural law of sovereignty where everybody means everybody has the same rights as every all beings have the same natural inherent rights as everybody else <clears throat> and you know nobody is above anybody else nobody is higher or lower than anybody else we're all on the same level you know flat earthers you guys are gonna love this one we're all on the same plane <laughs> you know, we're all on the level, you know, meet on the, meet on the level, part on the square, but, <laughs> um, yeah, reading some of your comments, brotherhood of the snake, yeah, true, right, order of the, order of the book and snake, um, you know, brotherhood of the snake, although, the, but that's not, okay, so, this is a whole, huge part of many of my future presentations i haven't put it well i did in the symbols of power part of course the serpent you know the serpent wisdom the serpent knowledge and the serpentine brotherhood and all of that but you know the basil tongue the, the speaking with a forked tongue worm tongue worm means or worm comes from old norse germanic orm which means snake which is why in the, as we covered in symbols of power in the villa of all men in the villa of all men stands a solitary candle. Oh, oh, oh. But yeah, the solitary flame the, the, at the center of it all in the villa of Ormond, the solitary flame. I, I, I'm not going to go into that, but where was I going with the snake? Um, it was going somewhere. Something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wisdom. Ser serpent wisdom. Uh, being wise as serpents. So this is all covered in many in the nice guys finish last presentation etymology of nice it's also covered in the um the i forget the title of the presentation i'm not too certain about what it's going to be titled but it's about about the sweet lies or the sweet lies versus the bitter truth you know bitter truth sweet lies what are you gonna which one are you gonna swallow well i know which one you're gonna swallow um you're going to swallow the one that sounds pretty and it feels good. 
and it makes you warm and happy and fuzzy and it's gonna make you buy a lot of products whether it's a holistic rub down or a <laughs> or a <clears throat> or a spiritual root chakra realignment <laughs> realignment <laughs> you know whatever it is you know that's what the the sweet talkers they the neuro linguistic pro that's what all marketing is these marketers they are master masters of wisdom they know how to manipulate your emotions to control your mind to control your impulses they feed on the pleasure complex the pleasure trap in order to sell you things that you don't need but yet you want it you're addicted to it but you don't need it and it's only harmful for you but that's it's hijacking the natural systems of the human physiology which is to seek pleasure and to achieve pleasure for the least amount of effort put out so in other words it's all about efficiency of energy energy conservation as well as energy output and the weighing of the balance between the two and any living organism will seek pleasure and sustenance for the least amount of effort rather than doing the opposite which is why we are actually a plant-based species because it's always been easier to pick plants and to cultivate plants which our agriculture and cultivation goes far back further beyond we actually think it does and even that wild cultivation um, but yeah so that's why basically we're not hunters we're not we're not hunters by nature we have had unfortunately had to adopt these practices but we have not physiologically or evolutionarily adapted to those practices because that's why they're still harmful to us and because it hijacks our senses it hijacks our physiology's need for dense calories and and for the most amount of energy for the for the most amount of calories and so that for the least amount of effort although the problem with that is that chasing down animals and hunting animals is the least efficient form of energy conservation on the planet you know that's why all carnivores and all hunters they they rarely they hardly ever do it they do it like once a week or once in a very long time you know they don't do it every day they don't do it all the time because it's so hard it's so difficult and not only that they have the skills and the physiology to do it but we don't have those skills we had to develop tools which is an adaptation or sorry an adoption not an adaptation but you know sorry i'm going off on tangents um i do that i do that a lot um <clears throat> but yeah it looks like my presentations aren't able to load i wanted to show you something something in the meantime oh. <clears throat> um what else can i sh let's see what else i can well if that's not loading why is that one not loading where is it Uh, let me just screen share so you guys don't get bored. I can actually see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing. <clears throat> Give you an inside, an inside peek behind the veil. Um, so this is what I'm working on with the East, the full Easter film. It's so far it's two hours and twenty minutes of just raw footage, of just raw footage. Of, whoops, that will probably <laughs> get demonetized. Uh, yeah, so a lot of this um, still has to be edited down. Um, I'm about maybe halfway through editing the actual audio and the raw footage, um, and then I've gone about maybe 10 minutes it took me about at least a month to get i think let's see to get about not even 10 minutes into the presentation it took me about a month to get about 10 minutes in but most of that is research and honestly a huge monumental um presentation a piece that i was missing at the time that i started making this presentation came along synchronistically while i was working on this one and it's about the sacred whore. It's about the, uh, the sacred temple priestess. It's my sacred and profane presentation. Became an entire huge 
one of my favorite presentations as well in and of itself which stemmed synchronistically out of it's just the piece that I needed and was wanting in order to further expand upon the the sacred temple priestess but it wasn't going in here why are my files missing where did they I don't understand why these files are missing there shouldn't be any missing files I'm gonna have to hopefully I'm able to actually recover these whatever they are or wherever they came from um, yeah hopefully I, I don't know hope I didn't lose the but yeah I'm, I'm sorry I'm I'm getting way off track hope I didn't lose those files if I lost those I, I don't know what I'm gonna do that will that will not be good losing another two hour something of one of my most monumental presentations I've done yet I don't know why the, oh it might be in the cache data I'm not sure okay um, I want to give you guys a teaser and a glimpse into some of the things that I'm working on. Let's see, some other things I've done so far. Oh, I deleted those ones to save. Oh no, it's still here. The Ark of the Alien Covenant presentation. <laughs> Here's me yawning. Um, yeah, going through it. This is one of my most... I'm not going to show you much of it. You only get glimpses. But it's all on my Patreon site if everyone wants to go there and rip it off and do it for yourself. Um, which I know you all will, but whatever. It's all for free. I'm thinking about locking it down and making it for patrons only. You know, if you want to, if you want to get all of this, if you want to get this, if you want to get some of that, <laughs> you gotta pay. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I'm I'm trying to do something for my, you know, for my my patrons. You know, the people that go out of their way to support it so to where you know they get something special that everybody else doesn't just get for free you know because I wanna you know there's gotta be some sort of variation you know I gotta do something spe special for my patrons and I have just acquired the ability to finally got a uh, blu-ray burner and some blu-ray software as well as all the tools, the label makers, and everything, so I can now offer full-length DVDs and Blu-rays of all my videos and all my films. I haven't released it publicly yet because I still haven't actually produced a good copy, a good master copy yet. Let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Um, do a. I wish I could do commercial breaks. Um, I would play you some music or something, but it'll get flagged for copyright or something like that. But we'll take a break, uh, a, a brief intro. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Um, so I could just show you the picture if I could find it, but I don't know what I did with it. But let me show you. Um, sorry, the glare is terrible. But this is my first official, basically, master copy of Symbols of Power series. Um, this is part one, part two, and part three all in a beautiful mind-blowing I mean it's absolute I, I'm it's, it feels so good just like you know just holding this you know knowing everything that is in it contained within it's just 
Absolutely. I, I, I love it. Um, but yeah, what I still have to do before I release um, <clears throat> offers to be able for you guys to actually, you know, to get these is what I need to do is I need to caption it. And I realized that the program I was going to use to caption my films, since I haven't gone through and, you know, included closed captions on them or subtitles, is because it is going to cost me 600 bucks or at least 300 bucks just to get one of my films captioned. You know, it's, it's at, the cheapest is a dollar a minute or two dollars a minute. And, you know, some of these are three and four hours long. Let's see what we can uh... Yeah, it's it's hilarious. I use the uh this is not that one. This is one of my I love this graphic that I made so much. I'm gonna start doing um, you know what I need to do is you know, I need to quit procrastinating. I need to start building, you know, stuff that's actually gonna support the brand, support lifting the veil really help it blow up and explode and also support myself so that way I can support my friends and my teachers and my community and you know really start getting you know huge with this you know the the stuff that I think it deserves um, one of the things that I want to do is you know I need to get the website up so I can do that so that all my articles all my films all my videos and you know whatever and all my friends presentations and stuff like that all the all the conferences and you know, so that way I can, it, it will be a hub, you know, and I'll have forums and, you know, where you guys can come and discuss things. So it's a community. It's not just, you know, I'm not trying to do the, it's not the me show, you know, it's not the Cullen Smith show. That's why I've also been so reluctant to do a live stream. And um, so I still haven't done any video logs or anything like that. Oh yeah. By the way, I got my, my second channel um, finally should be working let me see let me put a link to the second cha channel in the chat um actually yeah what i can do is back up here's my second channel guys here's the link oops remove any web addresses I, it won't let me link web addresses in a comment what kind of garbage is that okay well my second channel should be, you should, guys should be able to see it this time. I know the last stream last week, it didn't really work. Um, <clears throat> what's up with this? Why is that not working? But yeah, my second channel is Cullen Smith Lifting the Veil Live. Um, something like that. I tried to I tried to type it in I couldn't even find it I don't know why but the backup the second channel is gonna be my backup um, it's gonna be where I it's gonna be have a backup for all the videos on my main channel it's also gonna have more stuff it'll have all my live streams I'm it might be a live channel to where I might not even have the live streams on the main channel I might just have the live stream separate that way it's not sort of, you know, that way my main channel isn't just nothing but live streams so that if people come to my, you know, if you're new to my channel, you come and, you know, it's all you see is live streams. You're like, you know, oh, it's four hours, three hours, four hours long or whatever. Then, you know, you'll, you won't even be able to see like the full, although I've, I've got the playlists and stuff on the homepage, but, uh, but that's why I want to have a second backup channel. Number one, so I can do vlogs so I can talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about when I want to talk about it without having to worry about it being correct or accurate or you know whatever you know people like to the, the thing I find so strange is that people go on YouTube and watch other people eat you know this called mukbangs you know people go on YouTube people love it in fact you know Christy loves the she loves to watch people just eat on you know People go on YouTube, they watch people just eat food. I'm like, what are you doing? And it's huge. You know, people love that. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm like, what? You know, we're so, like, you know, the, the culture is so gluttonous, I guess, so to speak, that, you know, we, 
we make an entire culture built around watching other people eat food. You know, while some, most people in the world are starving, don't even have food to eat. And, you know, we make it whatever. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm just rambling on at this point. I'm, <laughs> it's the lack of calories. I'm undercarbed. You don't make fun of me. <laughs> I'm undercarbed, guys. You never want to be undercarbed. You know, always have that, that glucose, the sugar running through your system the brain food the glucose you need it the fructose the brain does not function on fat or protein the brain doesn't function on ketones only as a starvation method the brain functions on glucose it needs that sugar baby you know that's that's what the cells need the brain is highly efficient it's a highly efficient organ, and it does not function properly on fat, and that is a scientific fact. And I know, it, oh my god, I'm just saying it on a live stream. Yes, I said it on a live stream without actually going through, but if you want to get into it, I will drop the hammer on that also. <clears throat> you know, same way we will with Flat Earth. Um, but yeah, uh, about the Flat Earth, yeah. Um, so, me, Thomas Brown... You know, my friend Noah, he did a full, like, three-hour film about it. I'm going to upload his film on my channel because it's that good. Um, it, it goes through every, every single, every, you know, oh, there's 200 proofs of Flat Earth, not a globe? Well, there's literally countless thousands of, 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 of undeniable proofs, indisputable proofs that Flat Earthers can't even touch. You know, not only can they not even touch it, but they don't even understand it nothing against you know not trying to put you guys down or anything but it's just not your skill set you know i didn't trust me i don't know any of that stuff either i'm not an expert on that either but that's why i refer to my friends who are experts in their fields and i consult with them on the day in and day out and we go through this and we address all the claims and that's what we're going to do we're going to do whole you know round table what am i doing here <laughs> uh, yeah so we're gonna go through all that stuff and um yeah we're gonna get to it and i want it to be i don't want it to be just a one-sided oh this is we're destroying the flat earth i want it to the flat earthers to come on screen share all of their proofs all of their presentations anything that they have and we will go through it one point by one point and we will address all of it and show you this is this is what the flat earthers do why the flat earthers do not want it. although you know Matt powerland um he messaged me he is willing to so this can be a project we can work on guys if you're interested in this and interested in community things as you know the world's first ever flat earth convention was last year was it last year yeah last august or something like that but so Math Powerland has a center, a basically an arts warehouse or something, whatever. His creative hangout or whatever. I don't know how how do you, how does he afford something, especially in Las Vegas? Isn't that like millions of dollars? Like, what is he rich? What is the CIA paying him? <laughs> oh boy, but um, but yeah. So he wants you know he was actually telling me that he is open to you know me and my crew you know thomas brown no my friend noah um i would like to have wolfie the professional pilot um youtuber who does amazing the best real world live experiments that you can do at home if if you actually know what you're doing shows everything about you know ins and outs of flight paths flight plans you know circumnavigation you know naval um whatever naval navigation all that type of stuff as well as my friend jesse and we can get all the you know all the geodatic surveyors can come and you know show the flat earthers why they don't even know what they're talking about oh of course flat earthers won't understand it and i don't blame them i don't understand the geodatic surveying it's it's you know it's boring <laughs> honestly it's boring as hell like i i i i know it's important it's just it's so dry like you know, I try to watch uh, Jesse's live streams and his, you know, posts in his Facebook group on 
you know, <clears throat> uh, what is it? Flat Earth Camp Geodesy. Um, you know, it's, it's important stuff, but it's just, it's just so not my cup of tea. Let's just say that. That's why I like my, my videos and my films. You know, I want it to not just be mind-blowing stuff, but I, I try to make it, I want it to be funny and entertaining and, you know, I include the media and the movies and the clips and all that stuff to where you can really get a an experiential, basically an experience about the whole thing. But I, where am I going? <laughs> we'll just call it, we should call this live stream just like, you know, what, what, uh, Yellow Brick Road or something like, we have no idea where we're going, but we're going somewhere. Creepy pasta with the uh, with the Jew lo the the stereotypical Jew um, logo face says I have a punchable face. My face is punchable. Well, yeah, uh, well, <laughs> with 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 an avatar like that. Hey, <laughs> I'm not even gonna bring up anything about it. we will get censored and we will get banished from from the world for saying something <laughs> around that topic uh, okay Kevin Biggs has something cool to say here love your videos tons of info can you sum it all up in ten words five words one word um, well, I mentioned something earlier on about it. Basically, um, I did. That's it's, it's hard. It's extremely hard to summarize, like everything. <laughs> if I summed it up, I'd that one word, everything. But no, no, I'm just kind of kidding. But uh, um, what was I talking about earlier? <clears throat> I don't know. I mentioned it earlier on, but I, I, I can't remember. Yeah, I need to eat something. I need a lot of calories from whole plant foods. Um, so I think we should probably... Does anyone have... I'm sorry if I've missed you. I, I've been rambling.